Well, hello, I'm Jill and uh, I'm a geologist and I'm here at this lovely place in Great Linford next to the stone circle here and I'm here to take you back in time. We're not doing the Victorians 150 years ago, not doing, even doing the Romans 2000 years ago. We're going back 170 million years and we're going to discover what Great Linford was like right the way back in the Jurassic period. So to do that we've got to be rock detectives and I'm going to take you into the quarry place where all the information is to be seen. Okay so we've just walked down the little uh, shady path here just to reach a very small rock face. You're going to look for just a few things to tell the story of what Great Linford was like in the Jurassic period. All you need to look at are the rocks themselves and describe them. What do you see when you look at the rock close up? Find any fossils there are in them because these are all sedimentary rocks in Buckinghamshire, all of them. You haven't got to worry about the igneous or the metamorphic, they're all sedimentary. So you've got to look for the rock, the fossils that, are, that may be in them, and then you just have to look at the beds, the layering that these beds make. Once you've made some very simple observations, you can start to put the evidence together to make your story. So first of all, I want to show you, actually, some of the rocks that we have here in the quarry are limestones. But I've got a few specimens in front of me here that are all limestones, but they're all really different. You might be able to see this one. <laughs> I'm cheating a little bit because, okay, yes, it is made of the mineral calcite that limestones are made from. But this comes from a, the unusual place to make limestone, a cave. Caves will make limestone. You've seen them because it would have been dripping down that way if it was a stalactite, stalactites you find in caves. Otherwise, if you find limestone, it's telling you the first clue you need. It's the sea. So all of the limestones around me here were laid down in a sea a very long time ago. We know that that was 170 million years, just because there's limestone and there's a lot of it. Okay, so let's look a lot closer. We actually need to go somewhere else now. <laughs> Have a look. Most people know who walk along by the canal here. What most people come to see and to sit on is, of course, the stone circle here. Um, and I just wondered how many of you have come here with your parents, with your families, and you've sat down on the stones and you've not realised that the old bottoms are sitting on some of the evidence that we geologists would like to use to discover what environment we had here 170 million years ago. For instance, some of the evidence evidence is in this rock here with it out and it's, it's because of the rain and the cold and the wind and the sun hitting this rock every day breaking off some of the layers as you can see the bits and pieces on all the rocks it's breaking away the layers and revealing some of the fossils they will pop out um, and once they've popped out of course they will be weathered so that that is fine to take away don't come hammering of course because these are lovely stones for us all to see but here this is Fossils have just popped out. We've got another little one here. And they, all these seashells are telling us lots of information about how deep the water was. If you remember, it was quite shallow. The seashells are telling us that. Right? So, what have we finally discovered? All the little windows of opportunity we've had in the quarry and over the rocks here. Well, we've discovered that 170 million years ago in the Jurassic period, we were something like the Bahamas. We were tropical, it was warm, the waves were lapping the, the sea shore near to us, near, near this little island, and rocking us particles around on the seafloor. There was a, the seafloor was awash with little 5,000 oysters and sea urchins and snails crawling um, around the surface. You would not recognise the great Linford of the past 170 million years ago, but why not re try to revisit it? They're visiting today and just take yourself back in time with your newfound geological skills. Thank you.